Surviving Infidelity Update on finding out my wife, killed in a car accident was cheating, healing process. Original post. Two months ago, my wife of 10 years, I'm 35 she was 34, tragically passed away in a car accident, hit by a drunk driver in broad daylight. I cried non-stop for three days, we were planning on having kids, and I had started a good paying job a year earlier, and we just purchased our first home just two months before her death. I just couldn't, and still can't believe she is really gone from my life, it's like just yesterday, everything was heading in the right direction and would soon raise a family. She seemed happy in our marriage and stated how proud of me she was. The following week after the accident I received her phone, which was locked. After a week, I found out how to unlock it by an obvious code I didn't think of earlier. I simply just wanted it to keep photos in her memory, photos of us and so forth. But I saw some odd things in her photos. Included photos of her in someone else's house, a house which I had never seen before, taking provocative images. I continued scrolling down, and seen the most heart-wrenching thing I ever seen. Which was her with another man. It was nothing actual, but they were in a place that was obviously his. And just how close they were I just knew that this was an affair. The guy who wife had an affair with, showed up at her funeral. I felt like I got stabbed in the gut when I realized I seen him there. I began reading her texts, and first I found out that she was on her way back, from his place. Three hours before the accident, she texts him saying, I'm on my way. I knew that meant he was the last one to see my wife. Not only see her, but having an intimate moment with her, also she would still be here right now if she wasn't seeing him. I feel like I'm going through a death of a loved one and a breakup at the same time. She did this behind my back and will never know that I found out. In a way, I feel she got to escape the heartbreak she put me through, although I fully understand death is much worse, and even knowing everything I know, I would never ever wish this or any pain upon her. I found out, not only through her texts but her Facebook messages. Something that absolutely enrages me is that, she told her closest friend that this guy from work wanted to take her out to dinner, her friend encouraged her to go out with him. It enrages me because I knew her as well, and in person she was always very nice. But my wife was asking her to get confirmation, had she said, no, you are married, do not go out with him. I honestly feel like she wouldn't have done it. But her best friend was like, oh, is he hot? Oh, do it. Go have fun, it's just freaking enraging. This happened six months ago when she asked her friend about it. A few days later, she talked to her friend about how after dinner, she went to his place and had ex multiple times. When I read that, I honestly got physically sick. I honestly started going through a breakdown, vomiting in the toilet then crying on the bathroom floor. I just can't imagine that this stuff actually happened, but it did. How could she do this? But as the days passed and the initial shock began to slow down, I started piecing things together. The funeral, I noticed something a little unusual, which was this best friend of hers, talking to one of her co-workers. This was a friend from high school, and there was no reason she should have known any of her co-workers. But she was in fact, talking to her co-worker who she had the affair with. Then she came and talked to me, gave me a hug. The guy who my wife was having an affair with, came and shook my hand. Something about that, just makes me feel sick. Like I was being humiliated in a moment of grief, there was him and her best friend who knew about her affair. I couldn't help but wonder, did her co-workers also know? It's been a month and I feel no closer to breaking away from the heartbreak. I miss her, I want her to be alive. If she was, I would probably even want to fix our marriage. But she's not here anymore. I still couldn't bring myself to read all of her text messages with him. There are hundreds, and some are actually explicit. My blood boils and my heart aches when I open their texts, and I get hit with anxiety and an adrenaline rush. Palms get sweaty and hands shake. But I feel it's important I knew everything. It just breaks my heart this guy did things with my wife she wouldn't do for me. The thing that blows my mind the most is that, there were no warning signs at all, not freaking one. Our marriage was good, she never did anything suspicious, our intimate life went on as normal. Just zero warning signs about it, other than the fact she started wearing a little more makeup than usual. Then I blame myself for not catching on. Maybe this all could have been prevented, maybe I should have done this or that. I am broken and don't see myself ever being happy again. Edit, thanks everyone for all the support, I honestly didn't expect so much response. Everyone who wished me well thank you and know that your kind words give me strength. I have got a response back from her friend, stating that she is deeply sorry for encouraging the behavior and not taking my feelings into account. 
She never wanted me hurt and yada yada. Honestly, I don't feel any relief from her apologies. About the phone, I cannot bring myself to destroy all the truth. I feel like I must read through the entirety of my wife's texts with this man, or I will forever go crazy wondering what did and didn't occur, how often, and maybe get some answers on if they were lovers, was it just lust slash ex, or what did she plan on doing? Obviously in this state of trauma, I cannot emotionally handle reading their conversations, but I decided to keep the phone, to read it all and then toss it and move on. Also, for people telling me to piss on her grave, or saying this is karma, please drop it and don't comment. I loved her for over a decade and it's not going away like that, I still love this woman. Even with the disgusting things she has done, she was still my wife, a daughter and an aunt. She didn't deserve to get hit by some drunk driver and suffer with bleeding in her brain that ultimately caused her death. Please go away, I do not need this and I am not a sick minded enough man to have those thoughts. Now for the top comments before the update. My god, I so incredibly sorry for you that I have no words. I can't even begin to imagine what you're going through, that's a lot of conflicting emotion. I know this is the standard reddit response, but I very highly recommend seeking out therapy. You need support in this. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thanks, I have already done so, and I am going to be speaking with a psychologist. My wife died in 2005. As I went through her personal belongings, I found letters, pictures, and cards from two men that she had known, and other things that showed that she was having an affair with both men. I know how you feel. Sorry to hear that. It is the worst thing that could happen, grieving over her while dealing with her infidelity at the same time. I'm emotionally scarred. I will never be the same and dealing with the loss of a loved one doesn't go away because she cheated, it just makes it much worse. Is her affair partner married? When are you going to tell the friend that you found out, and that you know she encouraged her to do it? No, he isn't married, appears that he was and is still single. I already told her, she first told me she was very sorry to hear that she did that, but that I shouldn't tarnish her reputation by telling people. I said I am only telling you because I know you encouraged her, and she hasn't replied. But it's only been a day, I'm not sure anyone would know how to respond. And now for the update. Hello all. I love everyone in this sub you guys have shown me so much support regarding what I've been dealing with. I can't say anything has gotten better, especially during this epidemic where I'm stuck not working now. Just too much time. Anyway, people mentioned getting in touch with my wife's company's HR, about her coworker whom she was having an affair with, he is single. I have done this and I asked about it, and they said there was no policy against coworkers getting romantically involved, as long as it is off work. I kind of figured this was the case. As much as I want to get him fired and ruin his life, it was in fact consensual, and their affair was off the clock. So, I understand that there is nothing they can do, I didn't think there was. I sent a screenshot of the message of her friend encouraging her, to her boyfriend on Facebook. He replied that he is sorry for what happened to me, but that she didn't think she would actually do it, that I shouldn't blame his girlfriend for my wife's affair or death. So, I guess it's dead end there, as I am talking to a doorknob who believes whatever his girlfriend says. I got a ton of suggestions about posting her texts and messages to publicize what she did. I am not going to do this, and I really don't understand the point of doing it. She is gone and has no consequences left to suffer, no justice will be served. She is gone. I will only be making this more difficult for her family. Besides it's not really anyone else's business, even if she was alive. So, I decided to go through all her texts with him and her other friends. I was going to wait longer before looking, but I just couldn't sleep. I couldn't seem to move on from wondering, how, where, why, and not having any answers. Her entire conversation with him was still there from their first and last texts. Little bit of good news, is she expressed guilt, although not right away, about the affair and after meeting him the second time for intercourse. She expressed guilt and she told him that she can't continue seeing him. But of course, it would continue. Their conversations would range from her being very close to him sending heart-filled messages, to next thing totally ignoring him. But she would sometimes apologize for ignoring him, which obviously angered me. Bad news is, she appears to have been much more physically exploratory with him. She also smoked weed with him, which I never seen her do. I found he had backdoor acts with her, more than once. Yet it's something she never let me do. She also had him sleep in our bed on the night I went to visit my brother. Also, she gave him head while he drove to get lunch on their lunch break, she talked about it like it was funny. This isn't something I was ready for, I began shaking and puking, 
it gave me a severe anxiety attack. I resorted to drinking last night, because it was just too much. I feel like he took her from me, like he killed her because she would be alive if she didn't go to his place. I've been obsessed with the dates on their messages which they would meet. I'd go back to my social media and camera album to see what day that was. I was heartbroken when I'd seen they met on our anniversary, where I took her to dinner to the first place we went on a date. I remembered that day as a very good night with her, very romantic and we were both so happy and close. I felt like got hit in the gut knowing she had slept with another man just hours before our date. Makes me sick, and I don't see how I can get over this. My mind is still numb after what I read last night, I just can't believe that thing actually happened. I honestly wish I never discovered this, I'd much rather have left her phone alone. I'd rather have remembered something I never knew, a lie, compared to how I feel now. But now that I know, I need to let go of all the love I have for her. I'm mourning her death and I miss her so much, but it's time I need to realize she isn't who I thought she was. I have read everything there is to know and at least I don't think I can hurt any more than I'm hurting now. Here is to hopefully healing. I have a talk with a psychologist in about a month, but if I feel any worse, I will go to the hospital because I am close to feeling self-erasing. But I know it's an illogical feeling, I must go on. Now for some comments. If you haven't done so already, throw the phone away, stop torturing yourself. Yes, what do they call it? Shopping for pain? OP, you've read all there is to read on it, you've seen to the bottom of the abyss, and now it's time to stop rubbing salt in your own wounds. You'll feel better when you throw the phone away. It's symbolically important, as well as practically important. Never let it go to that. What she did was childish. Most people that do that, aren't strong enough to tell the other person they don't want to be with them. Cowards in my eyes. Well, karma certainly served her. Man, this is first time I read someone else's story and feel physically ill. Even close to bursting to tears. Can't even imagine how much it is a pain to you to just read messages. Don't hold grudge to anyone and good luck in your recovery. That's exactly what happened when I read it. Freaking crazy. It's like I had lived it already or something. Last story is titled. Wife passed away and I found out she was cheating during our entire marriage. Just found this sub, this might get long so I apologize in advance. My wife passed away in 2013, and during that first year, I found out that she has been cheating on me for the majority of our 10 year marriage. This was my second marriage. My first marriage ended because of infidelity, and we were young and just not ready. I loved my wife very much, we really were best friends. We did everything together. I thought our marriage was great, we had a couple issues, but who doesn't? Intimacy was one of the issues, on my side. I won't go into specifics because it's rather embarrassing, and making this post is embarrassing enough. I still don't think I have grieved properly since her death. When I try to accept my feelings and deal with them, it turns into anger, or it turns in self-pity and deep depression, because of how stupid I feel for not seeing any of it. Some of the guys she slept with were mutual friends that we had both went out with. Every time I think about it, all I see is meeting these friends and shaking their hands, all the while they are thinking, ha, I'm screwing your wife loser. I just break down and cry. I am having such a hard time getting over all of this. I feel like it's going to screw up any relationship I have in the future, not that I am ready for one anytime soon. I haven't tried therapy because my insurance doesn't pay for it. I don't have many people to talk to about this. My depression and just general cynical attitude has driven most of my friends away. Now for the top comments. Are these friends married? If they are, I would expose them to their spouses. I would write them out of your life, and to be honest, I would not want to be buried next to her. I would definitely get a therapist to help you through this. But quite honestly, grieving would be the last thing I would be doing. Are losing right now? There is also internet based and phone based therapy that might be cheaper. OP, please listen to this advice. You are not talking ill of the dead. You will be saving the spouses of these friends. Hold your head high. You did nothing wrong. You will be helping these women in a way you wish you had been helped when your wife was alive. Good luck, and please understand that having ED, is not an excuse for your wife to cheat. She cheated because she got off not on the action, but on the cloak and dagger. She got off on the betrayal of not only you, but on the spouses of the men she carried it on with. Go to chump lady. That will help you greatly. Thank you all for the support and coping ideas, I will definitely check them out. To answer a few questions, I have confronted the few that I could get in contact with. I will continue to look into therapy, 
but I am fairly certain I can afford it, single parent with two kids, things are fairly tight. I have gone to a few support group meetings, but I just feel so out of place. People discussing just giving their spouse one more hug, or saying I love you one more time, and I just wanted to punch mine in the throat. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.